Welcome back for another beer review. Uh, this afternoon's beer is this, and it's a collaboration between Brew Dog and uh, Modern Times, and it's kind of their Future Proof West Coast IPA, coming at 6.2%. Uh, this is part of the new Tesco's range that was released about three weeks ago. I think there was only a couple of cans in there. I could be wrong though. Uh, this was three pound for a 440ml can. Uh, been a lot of uh, stuff going on with this one, saying that it's either crap or it doesn't taste like it should or this, that and the other. So I'm quite interested. This could maybe be like two reviews in one. Uh, one where it actually tastes like it should. And even if it doesn't taste like it should, is it a half decent beer to drink anyway? So uh, you'll probably get a couple of opinions from uh, me on this one but uh, let's get going crack it open and see what we get there should be plenty of bitterness in this drink being a west coast IPA some pine and some grapefruit so uh, we'll see what we get there we go in a glass one and a half finger compact white head i'm getting some aroma off it already good levels carbonation pretty clear to be fair so uh let's dive in let's see what we get grapefruit definitely getting a bit of grapefruit in there to say it's been massively hopped i would say is slightly exaggerated shall we say You certainly get grapefruit in there though. A bit of bit of pine in there, but not massively. So I suppose if I'm looking at it as a West Coast IPA, I'd probably say it's not really living up to how it should be. Smell wise for a, 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 a drink, smells fine. So let's dive in, get the taste. For me, there's definitely, I'm not a big uh, lover of huge bitter drinks. Uh, it is quite bitter for my taste. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, big West Coast IPA bitterness in there. You get the grapefruit without a doubt, I would say. Plenty of grapefruit, really. Uh, And you're getting that pine flavor in there. So, do I, if I'm reviewing it as a West Coast IPA, as someone who loves West Coast IPAs, I would no doubt be highly disappointed with this. I think you'd probably expect more bitterness, to be honest, that would be the biggest thing in it. Uh, for me, as a drink, I think it's perfectly acceptable. Certainly not as bad as some people have said. Uh, there, there is bitterness there. You got the grapefruit there. You get the piney, the piney flavours in there. Body on the beer. I wouldn't. <laughs> It's not perfect, but it's certainly not bad. Uh, in my view, West Coast IPA, you're going to be disappointed. But if you drink it as a drink, I don't think it's that bad, in my view. Uh, it's got plenty of flavour. Like I say, it's got the bitterness. It's got the pine in there. It's got the grapefruit flavours. So... I don't think it's that bad a beer. I've got to admit, I was a bit worried about doing this, uh, expecting it to be really shit, to be honest. But it's actually nowhere near as bad as the press it's been getting, in my opinion. But then, I'm not a massive West Coast IPA fan, so it probably suits my taste buds a bit more than other people. But uh, 
overall a perfectly acceptable beer definitely not toilet cleaner as some people have called it and worth the three quid yeah i suppose it is really it's, it's you know you're not being ripped off in my view i've had a lot worse for like 182 quid so yeah it, it it's not fantastic granted but it's not terrible and it's well worth a try i think you know if you're someone who's just sort of getting into these drinks this is probably ideal starter <coughs> excuse me because it's not too bitter uh it's got enough flavor in there grapefruit pine and that to, you know not to just be a, a a bitter thing actually kill some of it a bit so yeah if you're looking at getting into some new stuff i would say this is worth a try if you're not keen on bitter stuff it's worth a try but if you're a big ipa fan west coast ipa this probably isn't going to be for you you're probably going to be disappointed but uh get yourself down tesco's buy a can if you like try it comment on me uh post if you think i'm a prat that's your choice entirely to think of that. Uh, tell me what you think. I mean, most people have said it's, you know, crap. Some have said it's okay. So, uh, but we all have different tastes. So, uh, like I said, get yourself down Tesco's if you want to try it. It's three quid a can for a 440 mil. Uh, thanks for watching and see you on my next one. Ta-da.